This video is brought to you by Wix.com. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Wix to create a really nice professional looking blog because let's say that you have an audience, no matter where it is, if it's on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or an email list, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a blog on the website where you can keep your audience up to date with updates and all of these things. It's actually pretty, pretty straightforward because if you think about making websites or a blog, the first thing that pops up in your mind is like, you know, getting to know how to code and how to use HTML and PHP and the whole thing to make your website look pretty decent. So they're also sponsoring today's video. So I would love to show you guys what they can offer. Make sure to wait with clicking on the link down below because I actually want to show you first in this video how to do that. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Also hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time and if you want to see more of these web tutorials on the channel. So with that all the way guys, let's go ahead and start creating a professional blog right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we are on this page. It says the leader in website creation. So let's proceed and start creating our blog. So we're gonna click on the blue start now button. And then like usual, it's going to prompt us our login screen. So let's go ahead and log in. Alright guys, so right now we are on the dashboard. So we're going to click on the very top left. It says my sites and we're going to click on create new site. Okay, so right now they ask you what kind of website are you creating? So of course we're going to type in blog and then I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna hit next. And then and they prompt us, choose how you want to create your website. Let Wix ADI create a website for you. Answer a few simple questions and automatically get a website designed just for you in minutes or create your website with the editor. Start with a template and make it your own with easy drag and drop and thousands of design features. So we're gonna use the editor for this one. So we're gonna click on edit a template. All right guys, so then we land on the next page which will allow us to choose a very, very cool layout that has been created for us that we can only just customize. So let's go ahead and browse through a little bit. You actually have to see which kind of website is looking the very best for our type of blog. We have like about six pages of choices. So if you don't find anything interesting on the first page, you have a lot more options to choose from. So I think this one is actually very, very nice. So let's go ahead and click on edit. So then it's going to load the editor and then we can go ahead and start off from there. This is basically the website, of course, that we just chose. And this is the point where we can customize everything from the photos, the header, the text, everything that you can imagine. So at the very top left, we have our pages button where we can actually choose you know all the pages that we can edit one by one but of course we're gonna start off the home page here we have add if you want to have in another page we have multiple pages as you can see right here you have your blog about search results so of course we're gonna close it out for now because we're gonna first customize our first home page of our blog website so right here of course at the very top it says turning heads so I'm going to actually change it up to let's say Alex Alfred's blog like this. Of course, you can also change up the font and the size if you want to. So you can go ahead and browse through all the options they have. You can also make it a little bit bigger if you want to like this. That looks really, really nice. So now, of course, we have this one customized. You can actually move down a little bit more to the actual photos. So of course, you can also upload your own. You can upload stock images, but of course, only if you have the rights to use all the photos that you will be uploading. You click on here, it will actually jump to the menu. So right here, it says change strip background. We're gonna click on there and then we can actually choose from stock photos that are by Wix. So if you don't want to use like a personal photo, you can just click on this one, which is actually a video that looks really cool. Or you can just upload your own by clicking on upload media. Okay, so here we have a ton of options. We can upload directly from Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, Google Photos, Flickr, DeviantArt, even the URL if you have some. But right now we're gonna just upload straight from our computer. All right guys, so right now I'm just uploading a picture of myself. So let's go and wait until it has finished loading. So right here we have the photo. So I'm gonna just click on change background because of course the way it looks and how it's positioned is actually be changed up and also shown right here. So right now this is the first photo. So right now we can also click on the photo on the left, change column background or actually just the image itself. And then we're gonna upload another one. So this photo is actually a lot smaller myself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on change column background and we're gonna make sure that the photos are not repeated. So if we're gonna click on settings right here, we can actually choose how we want to have this photo to scale. Do you wanna have a tile, scale to fill? And that's of course what we want. We don't want to have it repeat multiple times. So that's how you do it. If you change that up, you can click on the right one 
change column background and let's upload the third and last photo for our banner. This is the last photo uploaded. So if you click somewhere else on the page, it will actually make that blue box around it disappear and you, so you have a little bit more clear of view. So this is actually looking very, very nicely. I have a photo, a close up of myself right here, another photo in the middle and then another one different style with also lighting on the right. And then right here it says my life, my blog. But of course, if you click on there, you can just change that up as well. But I think that's actually very, very straightforward and very to the point. So I'm gonna just leave that. I'm not gonna customize that. Here at the bottom, you can of course have all your updates. So right here, it just we're exactly the same. If you want to change up the photo, you can just click on manage posts and then you can even add in all kinds of posts that you want when you upload something onto your blog. All right, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and customize our blog just a little bit more. So what we can do is we can, of course, add in or a blog post with the rich text editor. We can change up the text right here and right here on the left. We also have this menu that's also very, very important. So if you click on add right here, we can choose to add in an image, a gallery, a video, a GIF, or a file itself. We can also use a divider, a button, or even an HTML code if you want to go and insert a certain section from a different website. If you want to embed something, you can use the HTML code and paste that in. What's also very nice is that we have a quote right here. So let's say that we're going to paste in this inspirational quote. You can create different, you know, fonts and also the different colors if you want to make it something in the same shade. And I'm going to make the text color actually red right here just to make sure that it's nice and poppy. So right here, we're gonna also do that for the one underneath it. So that's very nice that we can have our quote icon right here. So let's say that we want to change this one up to a quote. We're gonna click on a right here and then it's going to add in this really nice line just to show you that this is a quote. Also our bullet list. So if you click on there, this is nice that you have all these dots. So let's say that you want to upgrade your audience on what you've been doing. You can just go and add in all these dots. So let's move on to a little section below it. I'm going to remove this bulleted list actually because the dot is actually not applicable right here but of course you can even do it on this segment so let's go and select this one and then we're going to check this icon right here that looks very very nice we have our nice center text right here a quote and then of course all these mentions below that with updated colors as well right here we have the seo button which basically stands for search engine optimization so this is what it would look like in google now this is of course the url you can even customize that one completely changing the url link your old url URL to the new one and keep your Google ranking by setting up a 301 redirect. And then of course the title tag can be different than your blog title. So let's say that we're going to call this biggest blog update of the year. Because as you notice right here, it says new tutorials are on the way at the top. It stays because this is just only for the SEO. You also have your description right here that you can optimize. We have our social share as well, what it will look like. Of course, you all have been familiar with this look. And also in the advanced section, you can add in your meta tags. You can change it up just to make sure that everything is nice and optimized. All right, so right here, we also have the categories. So it says add categories to let readers navigate to your blog pages by topic, food, lifestyle, and travel. So we're gonna create a category and let's say that we're going to call this one YouTube and then right here of course it, let's say that you're running a company you have multiple different departments you can you add you can just use YouTube then you can just type in album if you're writing music you can also just go and add that in as well and you can really really make sure that your audience will be navigated to the right way and that they actually can find what they're looking for also per blog page you can go and add in tags because it's actually very important that it's just the same as YouTube if you want people to find your video you need the appropriate tags otherwise there aren't going to be found anywhere so right here this vlog is all about tutorials so let's say that we're going to type in video editing then we're going to use another tag then we're going to type in another tag after that let's say we're going to call this one vegas pro and then you can add in as many tags as you like up until 30 words so you can be sure that everything will be found very easily all right guys so you can also monetize your blogs earn money from your blogs offer reader subscriptions to your exclusive content add paywalls to selected posts set up payment schedules turn readers into subscribers. So if you want to have people, let's say early access to a certain article or a certain blog, you can have them like on a subscription for let's say $4.99 a month, and then they will actually get early access to all of your updates 
before everybody else. You can start creating your own subscription plans. So I'm going to click on create plan and then you can just say like, all right, so let's say that we're going to work in three categories. So the first category is going to be bronze. Right here, the tagline is optional because you want to fill in a little bit of a description and then below that you can fill in what your subscription actually contains. You can also choose the post you want to include. And then right here we have maybe a one-time payment if you want to, but if you want to have it monthly, you can just choose it up right here. You also have weekly and yearly, and let's say that the price is going to be $4.99 per month. And then the length of the plan is going to be three months, six months, 12 months, or until it's canceled. I would actually do until it's canceled. So people have a little bit more freedom when they are free to cancel their subscription. And then right here, we also have the advanced settings that you can customize. So let's go and click on next. Right now that we are back on the dashboard, what you can also do is you can add in other authors or editors if you're working with an entire team so they can update the website as well. Right here, we have site actions. We're going to click on invite people. Then you have to give in the email address right here. They will also get a notification that they have now access. And then you can give them the rules. Are they an admin, a website manager, a website designer? So let's say that you have two people working on the website design itself. You give in these two email addresses from these two people. You check them as the website designer and then you can save it as well. You can click on send invite and then you can move on to the author. Give the email address right here and then it says blog editor, blog writer. It's really cool that you can create your own team with this website where you can have multiple people working on your blog. Okay guys, so right here we're back on the blog page. So you can also really enhance your images by changing up the one that you have already in there. That is, for example, a stock image from, let's say a photo from yourself that people know what you're up to. I also changed up the text right here at the bottom. Vegas Pro tutorials will be upgraded next week. Of course, guys, this is just an example to show you what's even possible is you can directly edit them within your blog posts as well. So right here you can crop them. You can have a small fit. You can have them stretched really big or the best fit. You can also center it next to it if you want to. And you can also even edit the image with a lot of different filters. Now, of course, this photo is already color graded beforehand. But if you have a regular photo that hasn't been touched yet, right here you have an entire menu where you can enhance it. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, the saturation. And you can even add in a lot of different filters as you can see right here. That looks very, very nice. Add in backgrounds if you want to. Now, of course, this photo doesn't have anything that's like transparent with the PNG. But if it is transparent in some sort of a way, you can even add in a very, very nice background. As soon as you have a PNG version of yourself, you can add in multiple different backgrounds. You can also download the Wix app for iOS and Android to write content, to publish it right away on your phone. So you don't have to be in front of a computer all the time to update your blog. The last and final thing I want to mention on this page is that you can even build a really nice community. So if you click on add right here at the very bottom, you see members. So you click on there and then people can create an account. They can sign up. They can build an entire community around it. So we have a members profile card, a members page, a login bar and a members menu. So let's click on a members page. So right here we have the members section. So let's go and click on settings. Right here you have the layout options. Do you want to have it in a list layout or in cards? You can also show a cover picture if you want to allow people to upload a profile photo. We have the design such as a text style we have the settings the bridges and also of course the support so that's of course how you can update these and it's really really straightforward so of course you can go ahead and create your own customized home page so let's move on to the next page and by the way before we're going to move on you can even look on how your website looks on mobile so we would click on this icon that says switch to mobile and then we can actually get a view of what this looks like on a browser so it's really really cool that you can just scroll down and see what it looks like of course, you have all your articles right here. Let's go ahead and move up to another page. So let's go and move on to the about page. Meet the face behind the post. So that's something also you can change up or you can just leave because it's actually very straightforward, like meet the face who is writing these blogs and everything for the people that are new. But of course, if you have an audience already on YouTube, on TikTok or wherever that are just knowing you from your content, you know, on social media platforms, they of course know how you are. So of course you can maybe type in something in, along the lines of nice, to see you here, for example, that they're also joining your blog website. And then in this paragraph, you can type in all the details about yourself, what you achieved, maybe how many followers you have, how many total views. If you click on here, you can click on change image, and then you can choose either from the files you already uploaded, or you can just upload a new one. Let's go and pick this one with the guitar. That's actually very, a very nice photo. Shrink this down really simple by just dragging and drop to make it fit a little bit more. You can even have custom shapes as well, just like this. And then you can make the text, for example, a a little bit more to there and also align this one up 
just like that. So that looks really, really cool. Let's see what that looks like on mobile as well. So you can actually see that, oh, maybe it's nice. Maybe it's a nice idea to move this one a little bit smaller or to, you know, center it. Because of course, if you want to have the text in this, you know, in this kind of beige color zone, you want to also make sure that you will optimize your pages for mobile while you're editing on desktop. That's also crucial because of course, it might look nice on desktop right here. Once you publish it, it may look different on mobile if you don't check up on that. So let's go and do the different page. You can also click on publish right here, or you can click on preview to see what that looks like without any of these editing, you know, lines and all that. So this is really, really cool. As you notice right here, the photo could actually be a little bit smaller. So we're going to go back to the editor and then we're going to click on the photo and then we're going to shrink it just a little bit. And then we're going to also move it a little bit more to this direction. Let's say that we're going to align it up with the text right here like this. So now we're going to click on preview as you look, that looks really cool. That looks really tight. And that's how you can customize your about page. So let's go back to the editor right now. So we can move on to the actual blog page, which is of course the main topic type in the blog. And then right here, it says all posts. And then of course, like I've mentioned just a few minutes ago, this is how you change it up. You can click on manage posts. You can click on settings to change up the looks as well. If you wait until that has finished loading, you can manage the post. You have your all kinds of displays. You can choose if you want to display the author name, the publish date, the reading time, more action menu, the description, the view counter, like how many people have actually read that article. That's also very nice. We have our blog menu. You have all the different colors that you can choose. Let's say they want to have red and for the the alert icon we can use maybe like a gray style color that's very very cool and that's how you update the blog page right here of course at the bottom we have our contact page so let's say that we're going to change the text up to let's stay in touch and then right here you can type in first name last name your email and the message right here it says thank you for submitting but you can even change that up to let's say we will get back to you shortly. So this is how you edit all the pages. You can just click on this plus icon to add in another page. You can also have like, you know, a text, an image, a button, a gallery, or you can just have completely different pages if you click on here. And then you can just add in a new page by clicking on main pages. And then at the bottom, it says add page. So you can add in as many pages as you like. So this is how to create a really, really cool blog website using Wix. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. This is how to create your professional blog using Wix. I want to thank Wix also for sponsoring this video. The link is down in the description if you guys want to get started on making your blog or your website or anything like that are you already using wix for your blog or website also let me know down in the comments down below and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video